So with you studying at both campuses and mm -hmm. getting a little bit uh, sides of both, mm -hmm. what would you, how would you what would you say are some advantages for a Pittsburgh student to come here? Sure. So um, as I said, the Pittsburgh campus is a very big campus. Even the classrooms are really big and uh, to fit all that student population. I think one advantage of coming here is to just the very uh, small student to faculty ratio we have here and the interaction of uh, students uh, with the faculty is uh, very intimate and you actually form really close uh, relationships with them. Um, and yeah, so the classroom size is very small. You get to make the most out of, um, out of that classroom experience, as well as, you know, the professor would actually know you and would, you could always seek help from them because they, they actually know you in person and it's easier to get into contact with them because there isn't as many students here. Um, as well as like the facilities, like the clusters and rooms and stuff, there aren't like, there, isn't so many of them and they're not usually like booked and like you know full of people so I think there's always that space um, to use and the facilities uh, to use are always are always available it's just a smaller campus and it just and you feel like you actually know everyone on this campus like I can't I don't know <laughs> how um, people in the Pittsburgh campus feel it's just a very big campus and it's amazing how they can form like friends and uh, relationships on that campus and because compared to here this is a very small campus and you actually know everyone's name and everyone's a familiar face and so the relationships you form are very intimate and um, they're very easy to make in here. What about some opportunities then uh, that maybe a student from Pittsburgh would have Sure. So um, in here, I would say because it's a very small campus and like events like, um, let's say, the career fair or something like that, um, is there aren't so many students, you'd get the opportunity that you don't get over there to actually speak to all the employers who come or something like that. And I think making connections here is is very easy. And so if a student comes from the Pittsburgh campus, they can actually make, if they like it here and they make connections here, they can come after they graduate and, and work in Qatar. And it's a different, definitely a different experience to move all the way from the US to Qatar. And it's, I believe it's something that th they would like for a change. And uh, yeah. What about some research opportunities or something, do you think they have some opportunities in that sense? Yeah, so um, like um, the research I did in Pittsburgh uh, during the summer, there are research opportunities here in um, Qatar as well, whether if it's in like the CMU community, like a research under like a specific uh, professor, um, specifically in biology, um, or there are some um, researches that are going on around Qatar like and it's a very new field here in Qatar we have uh, like the Sidra Medical Center that's across the street which is awesome to go and check out all these facilities um, the students have and they could do research on or like QBRI and all these um, other places that are under Qatar Foundation and I think that's um, it's just a privilege to be in a very um, it's a very condensed area and you have all these facilities just uh, close by and I think also another opportunity would be if they're doing it like a semester here or something and they would like to do courses that aren't offered in our campus having like um, renowned universities like Northwestern or Georgetown or any of those universities right across the street is awesome you could just go and ha take courses over there and I think that's pretty cool and it's not something you find in the U.S.